Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. I, I am in my little garage today because I have a new bike that just came in. They just dropped it off for me to review. Maybe you can see it over here. There's my gold wing. It is a 2022 Indian Pursuit. The problem is when the driver, the delivery guy dropped off the bike, the battery's dead. I mean, it's not completely dead, but it won't start the bike. It's only got like 11 and a half volts. So what I thought I might try first is I could put it on a battery tender, but I think instead I'm gonna test out my Skosh jump starter, which I've never used in, real, in the real world. I've never actually jump started anything with it. So I'll see if I can get that to work. And I did uh, watch a video on YouTube on how to get access to the battery. The battery is down in the very front of the bike. It's uh, kind of on the chin of the bike, just behind the front fender. Interesting location. And so um, I'm going to take off the cover and then I'm gonna hook up this Skosh uh, Power Up 700, I think it's what it's called. And we'll see if I can't jumpstart this thing and let it run for a while. And maybe that will charge the battery enough to get it to hold a charge. Um, if it can't hold a charge, I'm afraid to get it out of the garage and ride around and stop somewhere because I'm afraid I won't be able to start the bike again because sometimes these batteries, once they go, they go. Uh, so if I can't get it to, I'll, I'll turn it off, maybe come out in the, tomorrow morning and try to start it. And if it doesn't start, I'll have to go buy a new battery for this. So anyway, um, maybe they left something turned on when they, I, I think he picked up the bike in California and drove it out here. It's a press bike. It's not brand new. I'm sure it has some miles on it. I'll let you know once we start doing the review on this. So let's uh, see if I can't get access to this battery and hook up the jump starter and see if it will fire up. Wow, this bike's already got 5,000 miles on it. Actually, that's not true. It's 5,000 miles until the next oil change. I figured that out the next day. Okay. But you can see it won't start. So it is not going to start with 11.6 volts. That is a 6 millimeter. Allen, it looks like. Sorry, I hit the camera. I'm trying to get to access to this. I may end up having to go get a socket. And not much room to work right here. It's a little difficult. Kind of interesting to start out reviewing a bike by having to work on it. Never done that before. I think these come out. I don't think they're captive. They're not. Okay. So now if I can get to the other C here. I think I will go around the other side and see if I can get to it that way. There's not much room over there. Because this is a small garage. Not the easiest thing to get access to in a little garage. So I'll turn that wheel. See if I can get this to come off. There we go. Okay, so there's the battery right here. I've got the, the ground and the positive over there. There's another little guard right here. I'll see if I can get that to come off. Okay. I think all those bolts are the same size. Let's see, how does that come out? Or 
does it come out? I think it pops up like this. These little, yeah, like that. And maybe it just hooks in over here. There we go. There's like a little hook over here. I think it just hooks into. There we go. It's just this little cover guard. Okay, so now I sort of have access to the positive and negative. Let's see if I can get those clamps on there and, and see if we can't jump it to get the uh, skosh to connect. But the problem is these alligator clips that come with the skosh are just too big. They won't, you, there's not enough room between the back of this, of, of this fender and the terminals to get the alligator clips to go on. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to try to hook up the battery tender and see if I can get it to do a trickle charge and hopefully that will work. I think I can get that uh, hooked up, we'll see. See, the problem is Indian in their infinite wisdom has put the terminal bolt on top of the, of the positive on the battery as opposed to in front like here. This is easy to get to. But to get to the positive, I've got to take off a rubber cap and I'm, I'm gonna to have to remove this little, there's a little cover here. There's just no way to get to it easily. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this too. So basically I'm disassembling the bike just to uh, charge the battery. <laughs> okay, this is just a little kind of a radiator cover, battery cover. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Okay, I was, uh, I was able to get the battery tender connector over here on the positive, and now I'm removing the negative terminal and I'm gonna hook it up over here. And then we'll just hook up the battery tender and hope to God this doesn't have one of those new funky new age batteries that doesn't work with a battery tender, we hope. So I'm using this little stubby JIS screwdriver, which is one of the best tools I've ever bought. I keep it on the bike all the time on the Goldwing. If you're, if you're interested in this particular screwdriver, I'll put a link in the description of this video. A little SAE connector, plug it in, see what happens. Hopefully it don't blow up. So this is the battery tender that is now hooked to the uh, Indian. This one up here I'm using for, it's a bench charger for this battery. I unhooked it for now. And then we'll see if it can hold a charge. And I'm gonna make sure it'll hold a charge before I put it all back together. So anyway, this is the first chapter in my, my Indian pursuit uh, review. Well, it's only been a few minutes since I recorded my last video or section of the video where I just installed the battery tender. <laughs> and I just got an email from my contact at Indian asking him, making sure it was okay to hook up a battery tender, even though I've already done it. And you're not going to believe this one. Talk about, they thought of everything on this bike. You're not gonna believe this. I'm gonna see if you can see this. They actually have built a battery tender port into the motorcycle. Can you believe this? So I went through all that trouble of taking apart all those parts and installing that battery tender for no reason, I didn't have to. It's got, who does that? Who even, what engineer at Indian would even think to do that? I mean, it's a brilliant idea, don't get me wrong. I'm impressed. But, uh, so I guess it's actually kind of funny that I went through all this, and I know you Indian guys out there are gonna laugh your asses off when you see this, and you think, why are you doing that? There's a port on the dash. Well, I'm a Goldwing guy, I didn't know that, okay? So <laughs> I'm gonna unplug this. And, and my contact told me they just put a new battery in this bike, it shouldn't be dead. But I'm gonna unplug it and see if I can get it to plug into here, see if I can get that to work. 
and uh, then I'll unhook all my junk and put everything back together and hopefully we'll get this thing to run. Okay, anyway, I just thought you'd th think that's funny. <laughs>